Hi, I'm Litvarski and I want to show you how to transfer CPM files for your C128 computer. So, <clears throat> first of all, uh, usually you have a way to transfer D64 files. For example, with uh, SD to IEC, which I have also. So you have a <clears throat> an SD card solution for your computer. But uh, there are two problems here that when you download something from the internet, CPM, CPM programs or files, and uh, they don't come in the D64 format. And second, second is that uh, you can of course make the D64 with these files in the D64 file, but uh, the CPM doesn't does not read your disks in this format. So if you would make the make a real floppy from this D64, then the CPM wouldn't read it because it's not in the correct format. So what we have to do is uh, we have to first format a disk in the correct format and second we have to transfer the files we downloaded to this new, newly formatted floppy. So that's that's what we're going to do. So here's the files we have for WordStar 3.3 and First of all, we have Dirmaster. This is a program you can use to make D64 files. This is very simple to use. You just take these files and drag them and drop them. Oh yeah, obviously this doesn't work. We need to make a D71 file. So it's the double sided 1571 formatted disk. And here, here because the, the uppercase letters then they are in the page key they get transferred or they go like this and here we can do that we go to file align no change case and lower lower case so now they are readable this we save as a new disk file. Let's see. WordStar. Both of our machine. So, first of all, we need to choose the choose a floppy that we are going to format. Then we have to boot into the CPM operating system. So I'm using this boot disk that came with the 1.8 This takes a while
Okay. So on this boot disk there is a program called uh, format.com and this is what we are going to use to format a floppy format a floppy into the correct format. So now we can already put the correct floppy in. Here we take double-sided disk. And this doesn't take too long. Right. No, not another disk. But now this is a <coughs> formatted disk. In the it's formatted in the what's it called? CBM CPM disk. Mm. I don't know the don't remember the name how it's called but Now we have to reset into the C128 mode again. And uh, I have the SD to IEC as device 9. So we have to use the file browser. Of, uh, of this SD to IEC device. And we find our D71 file or D64 file, which, whichever it was. And here we see our files. And now we just quit and go to the. Now we have an, another program which is which is uh, called the Big Blue Reader. The directory looks like this. And We just run the first first program on the file uh, disk. Here we get uh, a choice of normal ASCII or screen codes or this third option. I use this first option, normal ASCII. Here Now we get to the program. Uh, so next we can take the big blue reader floppy out and take our formatted disk. Here we can view view the directory. Uh, Eight and see whether this is a C one twenty eight CPM disk. Yeah, it's a empty disk. So now because I have a source source should be nine and destination should be 8 in my case. So I go to the drive EO and, and press F1 to change the source and F3 to change the destination. Next, next we load the directory of the source disk. 
here we have to choose that this is a Commodore disk and then whether we want uh, or sequential files or PHG files or just press return for all files so he here we now, now see the directory listing and next we just start copying so we press copy and then here we can choose files with pressing return or we can choose all files by pressing F1 or deselect them by F3 because we want all files we press F1 and we start by pressing the upwards arrow next to the restore button on the keyboard and here we have to choose that the destination disk is a C128 CPM disk and here then we get a few choices so tran uh, translate to standard ASCII this we have to change to no because because then the because we have these binary files and they won't work if they are changed and same the same goes for adding line feeds so we go no and then retain same file names I, I choose yes it's the easiest way and this, then we just press any key to start copying and this will take take a while so I'll take a break and probably yeah I'll fast forward this one <laughs> Right, so the disk is ready and we can finally test it. So <coughs> again we need our CPM boot disk to go into the CPM mode. Right, so here's the directory listing into of the disk we just made. Uh, let's try let's pop up with this one. to be working. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to use this. <laughs> X exit the system. Yeah that works. <laughs> right. So this is one way to transfer CPM files to your C128 I tested to do the same procedure in such a way that uh, I wanted to use the SD to IEC as a second drive on the CPM 
but I couldn't browse on uh, browse use the file browser of the HD to IEC to see the see the final disk which I made that would have been readable in the CPM mode. So so SD to IEC hang, hanged up at that point because it couldn't read it as a Commodore disk. So unfortunately that doesn't doesn't work. So if you want to use your 128 with this in this CPM mode, then you need to use real floppies. But there's another way that uh, you can use only an emulator also. Within the WinWise emulator, you can use this same procedure as before and it works fine if you use the latest latest version of the WinWise, uh, which is at the moment it's 3.5. I tried to use the earlier one, which was for me it was 2.4 after that I updated it to 3.5 because the 2.4 it uh, it didn't format the disks in the correct way or when I went to the CPM mode and tried to format the disk it gave me a format error and couldn't couldn't manage it so I had to update the WinWise to the 3.5 and then then it, everything works fine and I could uh, I could uh, then start the uh, what was it WordStar in the CPM mode in the emulator so that's about it that's the pro uh, that's a quite a straightforward procedure for transferring CPM files to the to a D64 file or a real floppy. So that's about it and thanks for watching.